This is a view of our, the empty restaurant that we're eating in. In the monkey cage. What? <laughs> we just got our taxi to take us to Bangkok tomorrow. And they took us in this little room. It's so small. They're office. They're a little office. <laughs> Smaller than like a little shed. And we got our taxi. 1200 baht for both of us. We could have taken a bus or a train to save lots of money, but we said nope, no thanks. We're done with this place, we're ready to move on. <laughs> One last fill up before we turn around. We found this random place. So Anthony's fake working out right now. <gasps> it's not fake, it's real. Is it hard? A swing for your legs. That's what it looks like. And all these. <laughs> Don't hurt myself. Smart. Look at your feet. Just keep cheesing. Just keep cheesing. Work those calves. Yeah, yeah. Work those calves. <laughs> is it hard? So you use your body weight, but then there's extra weight, which is a piece of castle stone. <laughs> Look at the extra weight. This thing is a ratchet. <laughs> Bend and snap. Bend and snap. We kept driving past that kind of so awkward gym that we found and we found this beautiful overlook and we had no clue about it. So sometimes it's really fun to run a motorbike and just drive around. Consider it. Then after the outlook to the left there was like a little military base and they actually had all this really cool stuff and they were lighting off firecrackers and praying and we don't know what was going on, but it was really awesome to see. They're about to light off firecrackers in this thing. I don't know why, but they are. We're gonna do our review on Patea since we're leaving tomorrow morning. We break it down to four categories and we're gonna grade them one to five. Now everybody's different and that's okay. We just thought we'd give you like a quick rundown if you're considering Patea. The first one is food. I said it too. So did I. I said it too. The food here was just not good at all. Like it was just. Yeah. It's it, decent, but it wasn't good. Mm mm. It's For a lot sure. more expensive, definitely. And even even like the street stalls wasn't that good. It was alright, but. It just seemed sketchy. Like uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get sick kind of thing. So we went to the mall, the Central Festival, but even that like. Their food sucked too. You know, there was a pizza place in the uh, bottom floor of the mall and there was pretty good pizza. Vibes slash atmosphere. I give that a 1.5. Personally, I know I'm supposed to be one or two, but I do not consider it a two. I, I think uh, 1.5 is more than generous. Co learn was a cheap, fun option. That's why I didn't give it like a negative number. But for me, it was just, uh, what did you think? I did a one for the vibes. I don't know, it's just got like a dirty, like weird feel to it. I didn't really, like mm -hmm. all the weird people, I guess. That's what I took vibes as. You need to take a shower when you get home because you feel grossed out. Yeah. 
Like, why did I come here? <laughs> What's yeah. going on? But I didn't, I didn't really do my ranking on the island. The island was pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. I don't have any complaints about that. But the vibe here was definitely not... It's like super touristy, but not like good tourists. Not like backpackers, like crazy random people. And Chinese people on their tour buses. White people, but they don't speak English. I don't know where they're from, but a lot of them. And they're very rude. Yeah, very rude. I guess that's into the people, so. Yeah. Well, but still, I mean, it, it goes yeah. into vibes. You're right. Yeah. Um, okay, next is beach. I, I really was hoping to come here for some beach vibes. Like, we were in Chiang Mai for a month, you know, in the mountains. We both grew up on the water, and the beach is really important to us. Like, we chase that kind of thing. And to me, I mean, I feel like I'm giving it... I'm only giving it the number I'm giving it because of Koh Learn. Because, which I shouldn't rank it next to that island, but because it's here, that's why I'm throwing it in. I gave it a 2 for the beach because... Man, this beach right out here sucked. It was disgusting. There was trash. It was like kind of grungy looking, if that makes sense. Um, like cloudy because it's so dirty. But over on the island, it was a lot nicer. Still had some trash and was dirty over there. But I mean, definitely wasn't what I was expecting at all. I was pretty disappointed because I just was like ready for seven days straight of beach days. Like chill on the beach. But it, it was not that vibe at all, for sure. Yeah. I did a two on the beach. Is that what you did? Yeah. Yeah. Twins. Um, I don't know. It just wasn't. It wasn't that good. Like. It sucks so bad it here. It wasn't horrible. Would you have gotten in the water? Yeah. I mean, the water was better than where we live. Yeah. But I mean, it's just like once again, like it was packed full of people. Yeah. Like, and the beach is very small where yeah. we were. I'm sure there's some nicer beaches hidden somewhere, but we didn't see them, so <laughs> I'm not grading on what I didn't see. All right, people, the locals, I gave a two, and I know that's kind of mean, but, um, you know, they're used to a tourist kind of lifestyle, so it's more aggressive, it's more in your face, like, buy this. City life is just so different than like in Chiang Mai. Like, okay, and then tourists, I gave a negative one, even though that's not even on our Richter scale. Like, <laughs> literally cannot deal with these tourists anymore. Like, I'm going crazy. So many times we're riding on the motorbike and I'll like whisper something in my ear. I'm like, oh my gosh, did you see that? Like, what the heck? Or all of a sudden, Anthony will go on a rant, like hilariously. Like, I'm not expecting him to even start talking. And then he's like, oh my gosh, I just can't stand this, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, me? Neither. Thank <laughs> you. Like, what the heck's going on? Okay. You can go. The local people I did a four, they were like, you know, some some here and there were kind of rude. Like, you know, I can't really blame them. Yeah. Because, you know, the people, you know, they see me walk up, I'm white. They probably think I'm a douchebag. <laughs> and then, you know, they kind of have an attitude, but... And, you know, I don't blame them. Yeah. Because the, the people around here are crazy. Yeah. They're just rude and... That they have to deal with all the time. Yeah, yeah. That's all I gave them a four. Because yeah. that would be pretty rude, too. The tourists, I gave a one. Um, the only reason I gave them a one and not a zero is because I kind of enjoyed looking at them. <laughs> and just laughing. People just, watching. Yeah, people watching. That was, but, that was our tourist attraction. Yeah, yeah people watching. Yeah. <laughs> just crazy people here. Walmart City. Walmart that's City. What I, that's what I think is Walmart City. <laughs> it's official. Platea, Walmart yeah. City. The spot where you get on the ferry to go over to Co Learn in the evening time, like when we're coming back, you walk on the pier and it looks like you're in China. Like there's like just herds of Chinese people. And then there's this little guy carrying a flag. It's the Chinese tours. Anybody that knows about Chinese tours knows what I'm talking about. And they all get off of these buses and they take them out to these boats to eat and be Chinese together out in the water <laughs> because they don't like to take them to the restaurants here because of how they act. I'm not saying all Chinese people act bad, but the ones on those tours are crazy. Yeah. Like, and there's so many articles about it online. He was doing research before we did this video and he was just talking about how bad it is. It's just a cultural experience yeah, for sure. Yeah.
to see them. And lots of, lots of them. Lots of tour buses, like... Ridiculous. Yeah, like, there's just, like, the street when you leave is just oh. lying full of empty tour buses that have just dropped people off. At like, least 30. At least... Yeah, more than that. 30 more buses. Than that. It's crazy. Like, you're like, what is going on right now? Is this real life? Mm -hmm. Like, they... It, it's just... I, I can't even. Mm -hmm. I can't. Okay, would we come back? Um... No. If someone paid for me to come back, I would not come back. It's not my scene, for sure. Yeah. Oh, same thing. I want to come back. Uh. My favorite things about this place, so positives, I loved our hotel. Our hotel was awesome. The staff was amazing. Our room was amazing. Um, everything about this place was great. The food actually here was the best part, so we ate at our hotel a lot. Even though it was more expensive, it was worth eating actually good tasting food for once. And then co-learn. I mean, we wouldn't have got to see that if we weren't here. Um, so that was a saving grace for me personally. And also a saving grace was him because he's like, look, we're stuck here. You know, we already paid for a hotel. We can't get out. Let's be as positive as we can. And then it was funny because by the end of the trip, like today, because it's our last day, he was like starting to complain about it. And I could just tell like he was so ready. You know, he's so ready to go to, and usually when he complains, like something's really bad. My worst things were obviously the sex tourism. It's ridiculous. Like, I cannot even deal. That is, I mean, I get it's in Vegas. I get it, that, but I don't go to Vegas, you know? I, that's why I don't go there. I don't want to see this. I mean, I knew, like, there was ladyboys, and there was this and that, but, like, so much. And it's not even just at night. It's even just how people dress here versus how people dress up in the northern region of Thailand. I feel like they're more conservative and they just bring a different presence about themselves. Also the smog, it's just been killing me. Like I thought Chiang Mai was bad, but it's nothing compared to here. Um, this morning I woke up and my throat was absolutely killing me. <clears throat> I couldn't even go back to sleep. I've been having a really hard time with like coughing and it feels like I'm really, really sick. Like I have a really bad, um, like sore throat but I can't get rid of it. You know, there's nothing I can do except leap. My favorite part of the day was probably seeing all the weird people and just seeing all the crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. The favorite part and the worst part are probably the same. <laughs> like it's an okay place for us to come for like one day or two days. Yes, Not agreed. seven, but I mean, the hotel was cool. We had fun mm -hmm. here. I mean, I'm sure there's some cool stuff about this place. But, and some people would like. Yeah. And some people, you know, some people like this place, come here and stay here. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> keep all your, you know, stay here. Keep this place how it is. But just personally, we don't like it. Yeah. But a lot of people do like it, and that's great. And that's what makes the world go around. But this is our channel, and that's why we're telling everyone how we feel. Yeah. And just giving our examples, you know. Yeah. Part of the reason I don't like it is just because I know we could be somewhere so much better. Exactly. And I know Thailand so much better than Patea. Yeah. I think the biggest thing I didn't like about here was the tourists. Yeah. I don't, I don't like... Well, they just pushed it over the top. Yeah. Like, honestly, I think I could have dealt with the sex tourism stuff a lot easier if it wasn't so many... Which, everyone complains about this. Everyone complains about the white guys with Asian women. You know, old mm -hmm. white guys with Asian women that are like 20, 30 years young, younger. Like, everyone complains about this. And you don't think about it, so you have to see it all the time. And it is, yeah. like, it gets old. Yeah. Like, it's different if they're, like, the same age or something. But, I mean, or even if it's just, like, a, a Thai guy with a, a white woman. You know, like, you don't ever see that. Yeah. And sometimes you'll see uh, Thai girls, these, these small little petite girls, on the front of the motorbike driving and then this big guy behind yeah. them and it's just like how is she holding him up i can't hold him up and you know they're just like mm, like you know yeah. we made up this kind of new rule for us i said from now on we should no longer book a hotel for more than two nights because this hotel we booked in advance for seven nights and we regretted it and we wish we could have left after like two nights you know max we'll go to a place and if we like it we'll stay longer if not then we can leave we have that option mm, now yeah i'm such a planner that it scares me to not have it pre-booked like well, well what if we do like it? oh my gosh what if they run out of rooms oh my gosh blah, blah, blah. well it wasn't meant to be gotta move on don't have time for it because i don't want to 
be stuck in the situation again. At the end of the day, this hotel was our heart, like my saving grace. Like I probably would have been in a ball in the corner crying, having a panic attack if we had a crappy hotel in this crappy place. I probably would have. Yeah. Thankfully, we spent the money. We have a really nice hotel room. Another thing that sucked about here is the cops, the mm -hmm. checkpoints. We got pulled over four, five. Four or five times. Four or five times in seven days. I got how many? One ticket. One ticket. Yeah, one ticket. But we we only got one ticket because one day we had already gotten a ticket. So, and then we got pulled over two more times in that same day. So we got yeah, pulled over three, three times, times in one day. And, one day. and then the next day we got pulled over again and showed them our ticket because your ticket in Thailand lasts for two days. So the day you get pulled over and then the next day to like fix your problem. Nice too. I yeah. mean, they're not like mean, but no. it just, it gets annoying. Yeah. Even though, you know, we are driving illegally. But even so, if we weren't driving illegally, yeah, they still, still pull stop. you over. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's like you have to like tattoo to your forehead. I have an international driver's license. Yeah. It's okay. I can pass. Yeah. Basically, everyone on the scooter, they just flag to the side yeah. of the road and you have to show them your license. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to add? Mm. Now, maybe some people like Patea because this is the only place they've been in Thailand. I hope not. You know, like if someone just comes to Thailand and comes here, maybe they like it because they've only been here. We met one guy somewhere and he oh yeah he liked it so much. But this is the only place he's been. And Bangkok. Yeah. He's like, I like the city, and we're like, we'll go to Chiang Mai. Yeah. Like it's still a city and it's amazing and. And he was like a younger kind of. He was from Colorado. Yeah, he's from Colorado, kind of musician. Yeah, kind of yeah guy. younger kind of hip guy. Just get out there and explore. Yeah, don't just stick to one place. And we definitely learned that in Chiang Mai. But honestly, I'm feeling super homesick from there. Well, this is probably a great place to come if you're single, so. Yeah. That's good. You want some ping pong? Some come on ping -pong. down. <laughs> so that's it. We hope you enjoyed our review. Brutally honest review. And if you don't like it, sorry, please do not comment below. Because this is just our opinion and that's why we have this channel, so we can share what we want. Yeah, I'm done. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.